everybody, Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And yeah, Rava is definitely going all in on making Chainsaw Man their next Jujutsu Kaisen. But before I get into this story, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my adorable royal demon kitty, who is busy fighting um, a boss demon up in his sleep, uh, and this operation alive and kicking so we could keep bringing you more anime and manga content whether it be um, Live reactions like for Chainsaw Man, which we've been covering since chapter one or uh, News and analysis like this video feel free to hit up our cash app and PayPal links are in the description box below so well unless you've been living under a rock uh, you know that over the past weekend uh, was um, Jump Festa and at previous Jump Festas, uh, we learned um, about uh, the return of Chainsaw Man manga, which was amazing. Oh my god, it was amazing. And this year's Jump Festa, um, based off of like, you know, the program uh, that I saw on the website and, you know, the Twitter accounts of, you know, of uh, Chainsaw Man and uh, um, the manga's editor, it, I knew the... It, the anime was going to come back. I didn't think it was going to be a movie, but yeah, the anime was coming back. Um, but I think how I'm going to do this is I'm going to save the elephant in the room in regards to Nakayama. I'll discuss that at the end because we got to talk about the meat and potatoes here, which is the actual um, movie, uh, Chainsaw Man, um, Rize Arc uh, movie. We got to talk about that. And why uh, MAPPA, I can't believe I'm saying this, is smart for um, for going the movie route. I think it's actually pretty smart. God damn it, MAPPA, I can't believe you're smart for doing this. But I can't believe I'm praising you for being smart. Okay, so basically, um, MAPPA is going the same route as, say, like, for their other production, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, um, even though it was a prequel, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, uh, which is um, the adaptation of um, Tokyo Metropolitan Magical High School, which I have covered on this channel. And um, in the case of um, uh, Demon Slayer, aka Kimetsu no Yaiba, uh, the Mugen Train arc. And um, I think it's actually really smart considering... Uh, and again, I will get to that um, at the end of this video, considering certain circumstances which have uh, driven the Japanese audience away. Yeah, you can maybe regain the Japanese audience back if this movie um, uh, actually adapts the manga in terms of art style correctly. Yeah, but anyways, we, again, we will get to that at the end of this video. Um, when we're, when we talk about, um, Nakayama, but, um, so in terms of the Rize arc, AKA, uh, the bomb girl arc, um, it's, uh, encompasses, uh, 13 chapters and it is the, uh, uh, fifth arc of the public safety saga, AKA part one. It's 13 chapters, which is chapters 40 to 52. So the last part of, um, volume uh five and all of volume six and um it is a total of 279 pages now with jujutsu kaisen zero um okay tokyo metropolitan magical high school it's four chapters and 189 pages yeah this is going to be very very interesting and you also have um in terms of rating though this is going to be very very interesting because with um the Rize arc uh there's there's a lot more mature content going up in uh in chainsaw man yeah so i have to wonder if um will it be okay with the pg-13 rating i kind of Part of me is like thinking if it goes the way I would want it to go, I would love to see it get a rated R rating and go like balls to the walls. But, uh, you know those mofos. 
you know how that how people uh, you know how companies are and how especially in the west uh, the west specifically how they view anime um animation and cartoons and all that are for kids but mappa if you're smart if you want to start a revolution if you really want to go for it make it rated r please 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 do it because what we got in here we got a couple of things um in terms of battles uh, throughout chapters, like from chapters 44 through 51, we got the bell uh, with the special division devil hunters, um, and then Aki, uh, Hayakawa, um, Beam, and Denji versus um, versus Bomb Girl Rize and the Typhoon Devil. That gets very, very bloody. And then in chapter 52, you get Makima and um, the Angel Devil versus Rize. Considering how bloody this gets, I really, this really does need an R rating. It does. Seriously, Mappa, this needs an R rating. There's no way you'll be able to get all the blood, especially in the U.S. specifically. I don't, um, it needs a mature rating. There's no way you'll be able to get any, to get all the blood and gore that's in this arc without get, having an R rating in theaters. There's no way. There's no way you'd be able to get it. And plus, you know, of course, this, you know, the sexual content that's in here too. I feel like MAPPA, there's also the fact that MAPPA would be able to start, you know, be a part of, um, uh, be a part of something, uh, uh, be a part of a movement to like sh show mofos that, no, nah, I and mean, you know, to an extent, Jujutsu Kaisen kind of did it too. Um, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero kind of did it, but I feel like Ma I feel like Chainsaw Man can really like push the arm if it does it correctly. Reason the Reason Art movie can really, really go for if it goes for it, it could really, really, really push the envelope. I want this to be a controversial movie. I want to see mofos like I want to see um, the woke journalists go the fuck off on this movie. I want to see Puritans go the fuck off on this movie. I really want to see. Ma That's why I'm like, yeah, Mappa, go for it. Be provocative. This is the movie to do it with. Seriously. That's what. And let's be real. Fujimoto is all about controversy. Bring on the controversy. Don't puss out. Go for it. Seriously, this would be the time for it. I swear to God, if Mappa pusses out because he they want to they are thinking more about money than Fujimoto's art, I'm gonna be freaking furious. I will be so pissed. I want them politicians to freak the fuck out. I want some, you know what I want from this? I want like Mortal Kombat. Remember like back in the day when Mortal Kombat was, um, scared politicians back in the day? Yeah, I want that, I want that kind of controversy. I want the Grand Theft Auto controversies kind of shit going on. I want that. Give that to me, Mappa. Seriously, this would be the time for it. Put your mark on history. Do it. That's what I want. Seriously. Okay, now, for those of you that don't remember, again, this is why we, we need this too. And also, something I wouldn't mind as well, in terms of additional content, if there is time for it, mind you, is I would like to see a little bit more uh, content with um, with Rize, you know, becoming, um, a, how Rize became a spy for the gun devil. I wouldn't mind additional content for that. If we, if, I'm very curious what you guys think. Would you want, guys want, because usually I'm, I'm iffy when it comes to filler, but if it adds more context to the story and there's enough time to, um, to adapt the full story and add context, you know, add additional content, I'm down, seriously. Give me more Rize content. Give me more Angel Devil content. Because that those two definitely need it. To me. They are the ones that need it the most. Don't give me that bullshit content that we... I know people like the bullshit content of, like, Aki's Day Off and whatnot. No! Don't give me that bullshit up in here. Nah. Give me content that actually fits. 
give me the chaos. Give me the chaos of how Reason with the gun, because uh, I think we got some of it where Reason with the gun devil, but like, I want more chaos. That's what, give me like the Akira chaos. Just give it to me, man. Seriously. God, that's all I want from this. Do I think that, okay, in terms of a runtime, do I think that Mappa could do like, um, with the uh, 279 pages, pages to adapt, a good chunk of them, mind you, a good chunk of them are action um, panels. Do I think that they could do it like in a two hour runtime and also add additional content? I think they could. I think they could do it like in two hours. If it's done correctly, I think, especially if it's done like um, in um, like a trigger, studio trigger, like um, chaotic art style, I think it could be done in two hours. I do. If it's done correctly, yeah. If the story, the storyboarding's got to be perfection, though. It's got to be on point. And yeah, I could see it being done in two hours. Not bullshit. No, nah, it's got to be fluid as fuck, too. Um, in terms of the trailer, um, I know people are going to go off about this. No, that trailer is, uh, for those of you that remember um, the uh, Chainsaw Man um, Chainsaw Man 2 um, announcement uh, back at Jump Festa, uh, I think it was last year's Jump Festa, if I remember correctly. It was either that or... Um, 2022 yeah it was last year i think i can't remember my memory's bad but um yeah the chainsaw man 2 uh part 2 announcement yeah that that is not going to be the animation of the um of the anime as much as i want it to be and mappa if you're smart you'll do like an enhanced version of that seriously give me that animation i want that Seriously, that's what we want. It's just like an enhanced version of that preview of that trailer you gave us. Even though we know it's the manga, basically a manga trailer. And that's what I want. That's what I think we all want. But anyways. Um, so let me get to the elephant in the room, and that is um, the production team. So first off, Nakayama's not coming back. There's no way in hell Nakayama's coming back. We didn't get the production team revealed, by the way. And Nakayama's, there's no way in hell Nakayama is coming back. After the fuckery that happened with the Blu-ray sales, the Blu-ray sales were abysmally low. They were, and I did a video on it, they were really, really bad. Um, and the reason why they were bad specifically is because of what Nakayama said. Um, one is what uh, what happened with the art style of the, uh, of the anime, um, which was, and I knew... Oh, Motherfucker. I knew it was going to be like this. I did. I, again, I did a video on that too. When they said at Crunchyroll Expo that um, the art and animation was going to lean more towards realism and instead of uh, um, like more towards a chaotic surrealism, yeah, that's when I knew it, it was going to fail. I knew it was going to fail. Mofos were in denial. I have people hating me for it, but I was right. I was right. The Blu-ray sales prove it. They do. And if you don't believe me and say, oh, Blu-ray sales, blah, 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 blah. Now, go look at some, look at Boichi of the Rock. Look at Boichi of the Rock sales. And then to get back, look at Spy Family sales. Get back to me. Because Boichi of the Rock sold at least, I think it sold um, like 20,000 or some shit like that. Seriously. The, the, and this is um, the first week, by the way. The first week of Volume 1 sales, Boichi of the Rock sold way more than uh, um, than Chainsaw Man Volume 1. Oh, it did. It, it was bad. It was bad, man. But uh, it was not just the realism, though. Um, Nakayama said that, uh, um, what was it? That, he, that one, he was going to, he was um, uh, doing more of like, uh, he was going for like a more Tarantino, Christopher Nolan kind of thing. And that's why the color palette was as dull as it was, which is, that is not Fujimoto. That is not Chainsaw Man. No, Chainsaw Man has a bright ass color palette. It does. And, um, that he was not going to use like typical Shonen, um, 
uh, anime content uh, for a shonen anime, especially a chaotic shonen anime. It's like, huh? What? And, you know, it, it sounded very insulting, and the Japanese fan base was not happy about that. But I, I am going to say this, though, to the Western fandom, Chainsaw Man fandom, that is drunk on copium. They are, they are drunk on some seriously good copium and delusion. The anime is not made for you. No, you are not the core audience. The Japanese fandom, on the other hand, they are the core audience. So it doesn't matter how much you like the anime. Insulting the Japanese fan base and also the manga readers that, um, that don't like it, that doesn't help anything. It kind of makes you racist, actually. And also, the Japanese fandom doesn't like that Nakayama made, um, feels like Nakayama made the anime um, for the Western audience instead of, you know, their core audience. And uh, despite what Nakayama said, Nakayama can say all this shit about, like, liking Fujimoto and wanting to, and working with Fujimoto and all this shit all he wants. You can say that all you want, Nakayama, but everyone knows, or, like, the majority of people know the art says it all. You did not want to do this anime, and you wanted to do your own anime and do it in this style and cater to a Western audience. That's what the art is saying. I'm... Just you, you should have had the Black Clover uh, director um, work on this. And Mappa is, Mappa is not stupid. Mappa is listening to the Japanese um, uh, Japanese fans, and they know, they know they're not gonna, they know better. They want to make Mappa wants to make money. Mappa wants to make money from you know their core base and their core audience, and it's not you. Just like with the manga industry. And I'm looking at you, Kaburabachi fans. They do not care about you. They care about the Japanese audience more than you because they cater to them. You don't make, they don't make money off you. Nah, just like you, Chainsaw Man anime fans. They don't make shit off you. They make shit off of the, uh, the, um, the Japanese fan, uh, fandom from Blu-rays. From merch, and I, I do want to, I'm not going to lie, I do want that uh, Pachita plushie that's uh, that's coming from out of, from, from Japan. I do. I, I want it really fast. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, that, that's my thing in regards to that. It, it really is. It really irritates the hell out of me. I just don't, I don't understand it, man. I don't get it. These people are, especially the Reddit, man. These people on Reddit are just delusional as fuck. They are. But I want to know what you guys um, think uh, about um, what's going down with the Chainsaw Man uh, movie. Personally, I think what MAPPA is doing is actually pretty smart. Again, I can't believe I'm praising MAPPA right now. I don't like MAPPA for multiple, for personal, for personal reasons because, uh, yeah, I, I was blackpilled on MAPPA um, at their industry panel. So, yeah, I don't like MAPPA. Uh, no. But, um... In this case here, I do think it's smart because what they're trying to do, like Jujutsu Kaisen, they didn't have to do the movie. No, they didn't have to do the movie. But here, this is a case where because of what Nakayama's dumbass did, they have to do a movie for Chainsaw Man because they need to regain the trust um, of the Japanese fans. And if the movie goes well, then they could go forward with a season two. I'm just saying, I think that's, a, that's why I'm like, what MAPPA, I can understand what MAPPA's doing with this movie. I think it's brilliant with, um, I think it's smart, not really. I think it's actually pretty smart from a marketing standpoint with what they're doing. Um, I hope that, again, the thing I hope though, is that they get the right director for it. If they're smart, and based on what my Antiplex Insider has told me, uh, that um, they use a good chunk of their budget and, um, remember, uh, and I covered this previously before as well, MAPA is 100% in on Chainsaw Man. They are going all in on Chainsaw Man. So they are, if they're smart, they will go try and steal someone from Trigger. Seriously, go get a director from Trigger. Go try and get the Kill a Kill director for fuck's sake, man. Seriously, if you get the Kill a Kill director, you will win. That's all we want is the Kill a Kill director on this. 
Give me the chaos, man! Oh, God, just imagine if we... Oh, I, and I'm not gonna lie, I do... Give me, like, either... Yeah, Kill a Kill is the, Kill a Kill is the one that needs to do this. I know some people are like, well, what about the cyberpunk edge runners? And that could work, too, but... Just given Fujimoto's art style, it feels like Kill a Kill... Like, if you we had the art style of, like, Kill a Kill here and had the chaos and all that, it just would work so much better. Ugh. I just need that chaos, man. Or hell, get a kill. I just, if you give me like a mixture of Kill a Kill and Akira, I will be happy. And also, don't waste the freaking, um, uh, devil, um, the devil artist from, uh, Devilman Crybaby on some stupid CGI. Don't waste them. Because that was fucked up, too. Hell, have him direct it. From, and have him, have then be have his directorial debut or some shit. Don't waste them. That was really fucked up, man. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. Love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing more Chainsaw Man content. A few ways you can do that. Donate to our cash app, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.